I really like drawing wizards because for me, it's like drawing a more fun version of a person. So, if I'm drawing a wizard who's a person, I'll map out their general shape. I think I want her to be smaller because I imagine she lives in the woods, in an underground secret spot, and she has to be low to the ground to talk to the animals. Thinking through your wizard's backstory is a super helpful way to then design and create who they are. And if you're like me and you like to make comic books, it gets you into the habit of becoming a storyteller and thinking through every character you create. Now that I have her general shape and height mapped out, I'm going to have her wearing a long cloak that skims along the bottom of the forest floor, so it has sticks and leaves attached to it and it's ripped up at the bottom. Plus, there's big pockets so she can put little creatures in her pockets or collect plants and things for her potions. Now that her clothes are set, I'm going to build her facial features and draw out some wild hair. I think it should kind of look like a tangle of tree branches. I think she would have big eyes so she could see really well in the dark and walk around without bumping into things or tripping. And I think she has big feet sticking out from under her cloak so she can climb trees easily to reach ingredients for her secret potions. Now, I'm going to shade around her a little bit so she's not floating in space, and maybe add some trees next to her and lots of leaves scattered around so we know she lives in the forest. I think her name should be Cassandra after Greek mythology. 